what we're going to be doing today. We're going to be doing uh, pheasant in slow cooker. Simple ingredients, pheasant crown, bite legs, some potatoes, red potatoes, a couple of onions, some kale and some mushrooms. Get all them together, season them and I'll put them in slow cooker for a good 7 or 8 hours. First of these first, just chop these up. I'm only going to chop them roughly and then chop them in half. They'll break down over seven or eight hours in slow cooker. They'll be nice and tender, nice and soft when I've finished. Just cut them, quarter them, leave skin on. Best part of potatoes in skin, anyhow. Simple as that, really. Get them little roots off there, won't they? Yeah. That's as much as I'll do to potatoes. Now, same thing with mushrooms. I'll get a few mushrooms, I'm just using up what I've got in the in fridge, really. Let's chop that off, just chop it in half. Quite simple. It's only rough cooking. Slow cook will do the rest. Don't have to be fancy, it just needs to be tasty. Same with onions, I want a couple. This is a meal for one, this. There's a lot of meat there for me. But uh, just take them out of the layers of skin off. Once you get it going, it comes off easy. Hopefully, not going to be too uh, strong. Give that little trump. That's one. Just take your ends off. Simply split it. Get your fingers underneath the edge. And there you go. Let's peel that one nice and clean. All you gotta do with this, get rid of that. Chop it in half, chop it in half. Slice it in. Like I said, it must be finely chopped. Roughly chopped, should I say. That's been out special. So we do it up in Yorkshire. I'll leave this cooking for seven or eight hours, and then this will be my snap for tomorrow at work, or when I come in for my tea. So that's potatoes, red potatoes, half a dozen mushrooms, couple of onions, all chopped up roughly in there. Some curly kale, that'll add some green and some fibre to the meal. I got my pheasant just sat on there. So it's time for all these to uh, go into the slow cooker, bit of seasoning, bit of stock, and just leave it cooking away. So again, just simple seasoning. Rosemary and thyme, put together hand in hand. Some sea salt, some black peppercorns, ground up, and just a little bit of garlic. So, first off, what I'm going to do, I get some salt and pepper onto the pheasant. Some pepper on the inside, the same with salt, a little bit of salt. Into a lot would have been cavity at first. Just move that to one side. All I can get, slow cooker. What I want to do. I'm going to drop potatoes into this. Put them into there, and then what I'll do is I'll, I'll sit pheasant on top of that. Pick these out. So 
that's all potatoes in. So that's potatoes in slow cooker. Like I said, they like his base. And all I'll do is I'll get my pheasant. And I'll pop that in there. Like I say, that'll sit on top. Just like that. <coughs> Same with that one. And what I'll do is I'll just pop me mushrooms. Onions on top. You can see that's looking quite delicious already. And it's still raw. And then what I'll do, come over here. I'll take a bag of kale to it, otherwise uh, you'll end up all over the place. I like kale so that'll boil down to not much to be honest with you. Be enough. I think that's a meal for two rather than one, like I mentioned earlier. So, really, just find a bit of seasoning. I'll add a bit more salt and pepper first off. That's my black pepper. A bit more salt, but so veg soaks that up. I'll have to excuse me, dog. I'm trying to get yourself comfy in his bed. Bit of time. Bit of rosemary and then some garlic, some garlic granules. And that's that. Now all I need to do is add some stock, get it onto boil. So a little bit of a mishap. Uh, just realised I've got no chicken stock. I don't want to use beef because it's obviously it's a bird. So a little bit of an experiment. British duck fat. I'll just put a nice. Uh, dessert spoonful in there probably fill that up halfway with boiling water maybe a little bit more and then that'll act as a stock for me Final thing to do really, pour some of this in, I always add a bit more water if I need to as time goes on, and that's my makeshift stocking, that's it now, since slow cooker, that'll probably have 8 to 12 hours to be honest, leave it on high, we'll come back to that tomorrow. Well, here we are, it's just about 24 hours later. That's what it looks like. Look at that, it looks delicious. Perfect. And that's it all plated up. Potatoes cooked to perfection. Pheasants just falling off bone. Bit of gravy juice. Absolutely perfect.